Hi everybody, Brett here, High Altitude Scale Modeling. I just started to... I decided to start a new review series called Old School Sprue Reviews. Because I'm part of Scale Model Graveyard. A lot of people sell old kits. A lot of people don't know what the old kits look like. Same with eBay, same with everything else. Some of these kits you can still buy. So I'm going to start doing some older kits because my stash is so big I could probably do older kits five reviews a day for the next 300 years and not never run out. I know it's an exaggeration, but I do have a lot. So we're going to start this old school sprue review, say that fast, with Tamiya's Hyakushika. I'm not even going to try. Kai Air Defense Fighter. I like old World War II Japanese aircraft because there's just something about them. This one... There's two color schemes, and as you can tell right there, was this boxing was from 1997. There's another color scheme with 500 kilogram bombs, which in our crazy world doesn't seem like much at all. This one's got the white band around the insignia, this one doesn't, and this one's kind of a brownish, greenish, I'm assuming it might be that one. Nope, there's no three on it. This one's got the arrow part on the tail. So anyway, we all know how good Tammy kits are. Even the older ones, sometimes especially the older ones. Instructions. Individually bagged screws. I got this used. Uh, actually, not too long ago. Matter of fact, I may have gotten in Chattanooga. I don't remember. So, we've got one clear, one, two, three, four screws. And we shall begin... Whoever I bought this used from, either restapled it, which I don't think they did, or never opened it. So, away you go. We're starting with some fuselage. Let's get some more light. Now that we don't have to worry the glare. Beautiful, crisp, tammy of plastic. Nice bulkheads. Kind of hmm, softly molded instrument panel. Well, there's probably decals. Good control column. Rudder pedals. Throttles. They got some good detail in here. There's the bombs. There's your two seats. Rear wheels molded in. There's your nose. With your guns. Good panel line detail, no rivet detail, of course. I don't know. I'm looking at the box art. Hold on. Box art didn't show rivet detail either. So, I think UPS just drove up so the dog might start barking. Then I'll just pause it. There's your wonderful panel detail on the sides of the fuselage. Your seats, your bomb, your nose, other side, bulkheads look nice. You have some good detail on those and the floor. Over here, again, they put some good detail inside. And inside. And, you know, considering this is 48 scale, it's not really that big for a twin engine aircraft. But it is nice looking. Where did my bag go? Where's my bag? Because it's got the clear parts that we're not going to look at right now. Next, we're going to check us out some wing detail. So, this kit's at least 22 years old. I did not see copyrights in the fuselage. Let's see if it's any older. Let's check some wings. This wing's all by itself. Um, hmm. This right here, piece of sprue, could almost be used as a wing spar. And they made it, you know, they molded it perfect angle. I love it. Again, nice panel line detail. All throughout. 
And then your tails, elevators, horizontal stabilizers, whatever you want to call them, and part of your engine exhausts and your top wings. That good access panel detail. Not really much detail around the engine covers. I don't know if you can see those. So, put this back together. I like how it was packaged, of course, except for the Tamiya staples, which most of us don't like. But, it is what it is. And then we got us two sprues in here, which is going to comprise the engines, props, the landing gear bay, cowlings, poly caps. Don't lose those. Pilot. There's a pilot in here. So there's four props. Two engines, so I'm guessing you have to decide which ones you want. One pilot, two pilots. These are matching sprues. No weight on wheels. So, you know, decent engine detail. You know, Tamiya's figures, good or bad. You decide. You have more rounded prop here, more pointy prop here. No real flash on those props. And the nose cone spinner landing your doors. Have some nice rivet detail in there, along with some ejector pin marks. Which you probably, in all honesty, wouldn't see because the doors would probably be at an angle like this. And if someone picks up your model, you're going to be unhappy anyway. There's nice detail on the cowling. You can even see some excess screws. And all in all, your typical wonderful Tamiya plastic. You know, if we have a complaint about Tamiya, it's that they haven't learned how to remove ejector pin marks after all these years. But their old Tamiya stuff was just wonderful. Now, this is where I really hate staples because I don't want to scratch the clear parts. on a staple. So I did pull those two staples out. I pulled one out, there's the other. I thought it fell out. But it didn't fall out. It was just waiting to catch me off guard. Two. Again, you know, a rounded part's going to have a little distortion in them. Straight parts are going to look really good. Canopy's going to look really good. Here's a judge for yourself. You can see a little bit of distortion where it rounds out on all of them. And we have decals, Tamiya decals, in a bag with staples. Turn it over, pull them out upside down. Very nice, very cut close. I don't like um, seat belt decals. There's the arrows for the tail, the one version. There's probably another version. There's the yellow. Here's the white stripes. Here's without the stripes. Number three for that one we saw. There's your instrument panel decals. This might actually be good just to build straight out of the box. Almost put them in the wrong way with those staples in there. And your usual Tamiya instructions. Here, in multiple languages, it's a little about the aircraft. And we are going to start with the color callouts in Tammy X and XF colors, of course. And then we start with the cockpit. And the pilots, if you want to use the pilots in there. 
I'm guessing pilot and gunner. And then you're putting the sides together after you put the pilot and the gunner together. Instrument panel goes in after you get the fuselage halves together. Keep that in mind. Remove. There's a part here in the fuselage you need to remove. Looks like the interior is a multiple mix of colors, three colors. Or you can just find Japanese. I mean, this is so old, they've released new Japanese colors. And I can't remember where I put them now, but I bet one of them is Japanese interior color. Hold that thought, let me see if I can find it real quick. Nope, couldn't find it real quick. But look online because they released some more colors to their Tammy range, and some of them are Japanese colors. Oh, landing gear, which looks like it needs to go in before you put the wings together. So you have to be careful during painting. Your bombs, your doors going on, the angle of your landing gear right here. You have to drill some holes. Open one millimeter holes. There's some more things that need removed. Turn it over, you got your engines and your engine detail. Two different props. One has the it says HA1122 engine, HA1122 motor. Oh no mo yeah. Oh, it's got the same name. I don't know why you're using different props. But you can. And then attaching your engines. Your gun going out the top. Your canopy's going on last. Or, you know, like the rest of us, you're going to mask them and then paint them with them on there. And you've got your three different schemes. Your number three, your one with the little um, peacock looking decal, and you're with your lightning decal. There you have it. One old school review. Old school review number one. This kit is at least 22 years old, maybe older. Looking good. It's Tamiya. Some of the old school kits I look at won't look this good. So, thanks for watching. If there's any old school kits you'd like to see me review, put it in the comments below. If I have it, I'll try and get around to it. Can't promise anything, but I can try. There you go. Less glare. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Pick yourself up an old kit and build it. Because, you know, sometimes they're more fun than new kits. And less stressful. Bye-bye.